Hello my friends and thank you for joining us on today's adventure. Today, me and my friends Ellis, Luke and Adam, we've come out to Dolgoth, Dol Dolgoth Falls. Dolgoth Falls, I hope that's pronounced right, near Tawin in uh, south of Snowdonia. I hope you're going to enjoy the video. Lovely waterfall behind me as you can see. Uh, this river goes on for quite a way, which we've walked up and down anyway. So um, I'll pick you up later. Thanks, bye. Doing a shot. Yeah. Where from? Oh, that uh, still doing that. Seemed in on my yeah, own. Yeah. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Um, what I'm going to talk to you today about is keyboard warriors, or as I call them, predators. I'm sure you've all had this happen to you before. You know, the sort of person that never ever likes any of your posts, but all they want to do is come in and comment. Usually nothing but a negative comment as well. Now, I've had something um, happened to me probably two or three times over the last month actually the first one I put a picture on and it was just a long exposure sorry about that you know just a long exposure yeah uh, with some light trails and uh, it been going very very well uh, some guy come on and uh, made a comment that uh, it would be far better as a natural photo without the silly lines so I just sort of went, hmm, gave it one of those emojis and I just love it. At the moment, you know, when that happens, I just think, well, so what I did, I just asked a question with that emoji. So what, in your opinion, would be, constitute a natural photo? Still waiting, no reply. Funnily enough, later on in that week, 
uh, on the same site there was another photo and it's one of these hideous I say hideous it, it was an over well overdone saturated uh, piece and it was going really really well um, so I started reading some of the comments and lo and behold guess who was on there and the comment he made far better than some of the photos we are seeing with the silly lines on now I bet I hold my hands up I bet uh, I did think about it, but I thought, no, I will. So I just put, hmm, opinions vary. Anyway, uh, and a few other things. Not nasty, never nasty. Just, as I say, turning it around again with him. The lad who posted it came on and said he'd had a look at it and realised with all the comments, positive and all the likes, what a silly thing for him to do. And I said, well, I'm sorry for commenting, but uh, normally I don't. I just bypass it uh, and scroll past like you should do but uh, I just felt the need this time to put him right. So, uh, and the lad actually loved that comment because I said at the end of the day, you know, as I've said before many a time, as you will know yourself, it's all subjective, it's irrelevant, there's no rights or wrongs, there's different styles and that's a key word, what style are you? So, uh, there we have it. Uh, another one happened the other day was um, somebody had asked a question, oh, I just provided a solution out of many and somebody came on and, and sort of had a, had a go. And I thought, what's the point on that? The, the guy asked the question, I offered a solution. There we go. I said, thanks for um, putting your input in because it's now you're emphasising how some people are, are actually frightened to actually put a comment on because of uh, the fear that somebody's going to actually come in and have a go, shall we say. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, you get them all, don't you? The other one was uh, that gets me is when people put exclamation marks. Wow, that's aggressive, isn't it? Why? You know, why so aggressive? I just don't get it. But for me, you know, I can sum it up. And um, these predators, as I call them, uh, they remind me, you know, of overexcited teenagers in front of their devices, whatever it is, with a box of tissues at the side, waiting to pull one off when somebody puts something there. Yep, that's how I would describe it. A load of you-know-what. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, a concise point of view for today. And uh, let's get on with the video. Okay, I'll see you after. This tree looks as if it's growing in mid-air. Uh, unbelievable. I thought Adam was going to have a pee then, the way he's doing his system doing his looking. Nice. The only thing is, they're a bit high looking down, but it's still nice if you zoom in. the lighthouse again for the evening and it looks as if we might be on for a lovely one tonight because the thick band of cloud is in higher in the sky lovely okay time to get set up and take some pictures Tide is coming in. Look at the sky. Nice silhouettes. So I've got a shot of just uh, after he's nearly exhausted. 
had in setting up his shot. Boston's decision to come here. It's working out well. Okay. So is that Mostyn Duke of Lancaster this morning? <laughs> uh, and you'll probably see the footage from there. I'll put it up for you uh, with a few drone shots. Okay, so uh, I'm, I will uh, wrap this video up here. Uh, put some photos up and some drone shots as well. Nice guys, you can see behind us, lovely definition in them clouds catching. But, um, Spin you around again. Just want to say thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. It's only a short one probably today, but I'm going to be back out uh, very soon again with uh, my normal stuff. Thanks very much, and uh, until next time, see you. Thank you. Bye bye.